everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I want to do a, I want to film a video about my ColourPop order haul, if you want to say that, and my first time with ordering with Makeup Gate. And I just want to share it to you, like, you know, I know a lot of girls out there in YouTube, I mean YouTubers have ordered a lot of Makeup Geek and I've been hearing of a lot of good stuff about it, so um, this is my first time having them um, and I'll tell you everything else later on when it's about time to talk about them. But for now I want to start doing my color pop and I want to show you guys because um, the first thing that I've um, purchased that I want to show you are the lip um, products. I got the uh, lipstick and the lip pencil. And for the lipstick, I got the Frida. This one. And I've been loving it so much. Lumiere and Frida are like my favorite colors with ColourPop. And this is the color. I'm going to swatch it in my arm. This one. And I'm loving it so much. I can't imagine like what it took me so long to order them. Um, and this is the lip pencil, which is perfect. So I definitely got that one. And the next ones, I already did purchase, ordered this before, but I have it in my lipsticks and uh, in a lipsticks form. And this time I got the pencil for, for Frenchie. The reddish one over here and the next one I got uh, for the bossy right here so I'm really happy that I got them in the pencil form and just because you know when I'm wearing them I want like a nice lip pen lip liner um, so I went ahead and purchased them so okay, moving on. I'm really excited of this when I heard of them. Um, I I have a couple of um, eyeshadows from ColourPop. I think I have four from you know those um, quads. It's like the set of four that they sell. So I got that already, and I am blown away with the formulation of the product. I really really love that it's like really soft and it's just feels wet but it's not liquid um, it's just I do not know what they have put in that but it's just really amazing so today and after that so I decided and then they came out with a blush and I was really curious so I purchased five of them for now I know they came out with 20 but I purchased five just because I'm not really exactly sure what it's gonna be because you know, they mentioned that it was going to be the same formulation and I just want to like try it out and see if it's, you know, how it's going to be. So the first one that I got is in Fox and it's this color. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's really hard to swatch it just because it gets really light when you put it on, when you dab it on your skin. But here it is like... From the pot itself it's really really beautiful so this is the fox one and the next one that I'm going to show you is the thumper it gets, and it comes in this color I think it yeah I mean I'm looking at it it comes out really the same color in the camera but it's really really beautiful I love it so much The next one is a little brighter pink, but like what I said, it doesn't come out li like really bright on your cheek. And this one is in mo Mochi. This is a really, really beautiful texture. I'm just loving it so much. And it doesn't, it's the, the color payoff is really beautiful. Like I was afraid that it might look like, you know, really strong like really intense color when it gets into your cheek 
but it doesn't. It's just a really beautiful color. So this formulation is really amazing. I'm really blown away. The next one that I got is in Holiday. Okay, it's so and here is the color, and it's kind of like a coral color. I'm really getting ready for spring. Who is not ready for spring? I'm really gonna be so surprised, but this are really beautiful color for spring. And I think this, yeah, this is the holiday. I just said that. It's beautiful. I, I'm not exactly sure. I'm, I'm really bad at swatching stuff. I gotta practice. The last one for the cheeks, uh, cheek stuff, cheek um, products that I got from them is the prenup. And it comes in this one. It's kind of like a mauve um, color, but I'm sure it would look really fantastic. What I don't know is that how is how do I put that? How do I apply it on? I've never tried it in my own cheek before. I just keep on I just keep on touching them and swatching them. But if you guys have any idea on how I can, um, you know, use this one, what is the best way to apply this? Please feel free to comment down below. I would really, really love your suggestions. Because um, to anybody who has the color pop already, I know this is an amazing um, product. But with the eyes, I kind of have an idea how to use it. But with my cheek, um, I really want to know, you know, the best way to use it. Um, I'm really afraid to deep my brush in it. Maybe, I, I don't know, just let me know. <laughs> so moving on with my eyeshadows. I'm really disappointed with one of the color because it was a little, sh I mean, it was shattered when it came to me. Like, it was really darn shattered. Like, not even exactly sure why and that that color is the I love this and it comes to this one I don't even want to open it because everything is gonna fall apart but it kind of looks so glittery it's very shimmery but it would per be perfect with some special occasions because I love I love glitter I love shimmery stuff especially with like um, a special occasion like what I said um, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to return this, hoping for something better, um, a not broken one, or I may just keep it the way as it is. I'm not too mad about it. Um, and the next one is the Lala. It's kind of like a bronzy, shimmery thing. And it's very beautiful. I really, really love this color. I tend to gravitate with this color so much. I'm a neutral gal all the time. so. One. And this one too is the mittens, and it's really a dark kind of chocolate look, and it's really really beautiful. I love it so much. And the next one that I got is the On the Rocks. I got it so tight, and this is kind of like a um, copper color copper color or like gold. I'm not exactly sure. What do you think guys? It's kind of like a goldy copper tone color. So I'm really excited to use all this stuff actually. The next one that I got is the d dessert. And this is kind of like a, I'm not exactly sure like a tan color. Tan goldish color. As you can see, you know now, like, what are the colors that I gravitate on, like, easy for me to put on my face. These are kind of like my shade, just because I'm really very pale um, colored. So the next one that I got is the Fringe. This is kind of like a, like, um, I really can't describe. It's more of like... They don't have a smell. They really don't have a smell. Yeah. Here is the swatch of this one. It's more like a shimmery light gold. 
it's not an intense color of gold, so I like that. I know, baby. And the next one is more of like a pink shade, and it's called the Bubbly. I love this pink shade so much. So, hopefully I can do like a makeup tutorial using ColourPop Chic product and the eyeshadow. I'm gonna come up with that soon. And the next one is also the little the dark um, brownish side. It's called the Bandit. It's not the, it's just Bandit. And here's the color. Again, it's kind of like chocolatey. A little lighter from the one, I think this one is the Mittens. A little lighter, but this is the color. So those are all the color pop that I ordered. I really am so excited for all my products. Now, moving on with my Makeup Geek. I first purchased the, the Z palette from Makeup Geek, and of course it comes with extra magnetic stuff that you can put on some of the eyeshadow pan if they don't really stick in it. And this kind of uh, this palette has like this metallic part over here that you can just like, you know, stick it over here just like that and it's just so convenient because you can put all your eyeshadows together in there just like that and so these are the first six products that I purchased from Makeup Geek that I want to try uh, I just purchased six just because you know I really want to try it first so the first one that I purchased is the peach smoothie the next one is the simply Marlena this is so Marlena. And the next one is the Beaches and Cream. I love this color so much. It might look like really, really light color, but it is really beautiful. And the next one is the Cosmopolitan. And the next one that I purchased is the Frappe. And this is really beautiful for your transition shade. And the next one that I got is the creme brulee. I love the creme brulee. My favorites are the creme brulee, frappe, and beaches and cream. Actually, all of them. But those three are my like first pick. But yeah, I'm looking forward of. Um, using them just so for me to figure out if I really like them so that I can order some more of the other colors and I'll be able to fill up my Z palette. I think this one um, can fill up at least 27 um, pan of um, eyeshadows from Makeup Geek so I'm not exactly sure but I'm on my way to order. But. Um, but before that, I would like to try that. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to make a tutorial regarding, you know, I mean, about all this um, makeup products that I just purchased. They're quite a lot, so you might not see any kind of like a haul for quite a while. And I'll be posting a lot of makeup tutorials. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I was able to give you an idea where and what kind of new products that might be really great for purchasing and if you have any questions please feel free to uh, you know make the comment down below and if you would like me to you know talk about certain stuff please give me uh, a message down below in my suggestion box or my description box or in the comments you're more than welcome and I would really love to interact with you guys and I'm really looking forward to to have some communication with all of you and thank you thank you very much for watching in my video my videos actually and I'm hoping to see you guys soon um, but for now I gotta go and have a good night bye